now it is that time again to see some more open homes with Elaine Burkett from Mike Perrow Real Estate. Morning, Elaine. Good morning. So we have a theme for today? Yeah, we do. They're all beautiful private sanctuaries. Oh, sounds good. Okay, then let's head first to Hatfields Beach. Yeah, so this one is really um, in a secluded area up in the Hibiscus Coast. Um, and it is fabulous. It's a real hidden treasure. Um, so it's on 600, um, no, sorry, it's on 2.2 acres. Whoa. Yeah. Um, a floor area of 238 square metres. It would be ideal for large or extended families. And it's close to all the amenities of Hibiscus Coast. Um, it's a truly unique um, setting. It's sitting amongst a real natural wonderland. Um, so lots of gorgeous outdoor areas. Um, the home's set up to create easy flow through to the outdoors and really tranquil and park-like grounds. You've got your little wow. lake there. Yeah, it's quite unique and Was well, that your own little pondy thing you've yeah. got going it on there? Yeah, it is. You, yes. could actually, you could actually get your paddle board out on that one, Mike. That is impressive. Do you in the morning? Perfect yeah. for a summer family wedding or picnics. I've so, got a so trade-me pick-up to do at Hibiscus Coast soon, so I might pop out there. So <laughs> what, are we, uh, what are we talking about, cash-wise? Yeah, buy negotiation, probably buyers over 1.5. Okay. Good nice. Time. Okay, well, it's a good start. Let's keep it going. Yep. Whangarei we're heading to now. Yeah, so this is in a really highly sought area. It's up in Glen Burvey, and it's a real magical property. Again, it's in a, a nice park-like setting. It's only 10 minutes to town, and you're only 20 minutes away from that world-famous Tutakaka coast, so um, that coast is actually National Geographic's number two coast in the world. It's, so, it's growing that, in popularity, that Whangarei area, so fast. It's so yes. beautiful, that coastline. It is magical. Mm -hmm. And so this has got a great layout. It's perfectly positioned to capture that north-facing sun. Um, you've got formal lounge, family living, and a separate dining space, and serene views over all that gorgeous front lawn. Um, well laid out kitchen and you've got paved areas outdoors so there's also a bonus 84 square metre shed which could be multi-purpose. Brilliant. Okay, and what, what, what price range are we looking at for that? Buy negotiation. Right. High 900s. High 900s, oh, good. Good to know. Okay, let's stay sort of in that sort of northern area, Kaiwaka. Mm -hmm. So this is another um, property with a lake nearby, and it's in a gorgeous situation. It's real country lifestyle living. Um, there's room for grazing as well as, you know, you could develop the gardens. It's a spacious home. You've got fabulous um, hardwood floors, a really high spec kitchen and um, doors off the living and dining areas to your expansive decks there. You've also got 180 degree views across McCracken Lake and, and to the Brindawins. That's a little outbuilding there, so a little dog box or sanctuary when you need an escape. Oh, I'll put that on Airbnb. <laughs> it's a lady cave. <laughs> <laughs> it could be whatever you want. Get in touch with nature. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much are we talking about for that one? That's eight eighty-five thousand. Wow, oh, incredible prices. Not bad pricing. You know what I like about you, Elaine, is that you do actually give us some rough indication of prices because a lot of real estate agents can't. Okay, let's go to Martinborough, South Wild and Upper. <laughs> yeah. So this is a contemporary blend of town and country. Um, beautiful private driveway to a, a modern lifestyle property. It's less than two kilometres to Martinborough Village and you've got lovely open plan living. It's north facing. It's an amazing veranda for brunch in the sun or if you're entertaining at night. Um, double garage with a large office. So there's a work from home situation there if that's what you need. Um, because there's a large studio um, that has an ensuite, so it's perfect for that sort of. Brilliant. Yeah. It's also got a separate double garage that has a high headroom, which makes it really perfect for any hobby that you might want to do. Um, and there's some um, grapes planted there, eight-year-old vines. And the current owner makes 400 litres of wine a year. So that's quite a special property. Well, you'd never have to leave home, would you? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You <laughs> just, couldn't. <laughs> live there and get drunk every day. <laughs> yeah. So that's in the nine, um, high 900,000s. Wow. Okay, let's move along to an area which is of interest to me, North Otago. Mm, and that's a beautiful area, Omarama. Um, this one's close to Lake Benmore and Omarama, lovely community down there. It's peacefully removed from the outside world, but you're also conveniently located close to Twizel as well. So large living space, you've got alpine vistas, closed wood fire, which has a wet back, um, and updated modern kitchen. There's neutral tones um, throughout. 
and look at that gorgeous alpine vista. It's just stunning. Beautiful. So how much are we talking? That one, 622,500. Excellent. Ooh, and I'm interested too because I'm Mighty Cup next year. I've got a son competing most likely. And so, yeah, ah. it's, uh, accommodation. That's Richie McCall's stomping ground as well. Oh, might bump into him down there in his well. glider. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much, Elaine. Uh, now, <laughs> to see more on those properties and others, you can go to mikepiro.com.